Hey guys, in this video I'll be taking a look at this LEGO Technic set. This is the Street Bike, set number 8420, and it comes with 506 pieces, and this came out all the way back in 2005. And let's go ahead and get straight into the review. So I just want to start out by saying I know pretty much nothing about motorcycles or LEGO Technic. I just thought this was a cool set that I'd give you guys a look at, so I'm not claiming to be an expert on anything here. Just give you guys a tour of the set. Uh, so starting out on the bottom, there's a little kickstand, and when it is down like this, um, the motorcycle will stand up uh, on its own, perfectly fine. And if you flip it up, the motorcycle is free to roll around, and it cannot stand up like this, uh, so this will just fall instantly. So you have to have the kickstand down if you want this standing up. Uh, it uses two very large wheels. These are pretty big pieces. The motorcycle itself is huge, and the wheels are big as well. So there's my sig fig, just for a little size comparison. And it's the same wheel at the front and back. And then uh, there are some of these large Technic panel pieces, uh, just to cover up some of the inside. Uh, and there is still a lot of exposed Technic, but I think it actually looks pretty cool, kind of adds to the motorcycle's overall look. And moving this to the front, you can see some gears uh, right there. And then uh, there's a little piece covering up the top of the wheel there. And there's some trans black pieces to represent headlights. I think the front of the motorcycle looks very nice, like the way that came out. And then the windshield piece is a large uh, element, just one piece. And then it is printed, and it's a very nice print. I think that adds some nice detail. This side of the motorcycle is pretty much identical to the other side. And like I said before, I think that all the exposed Technic beams uh, look pretty cool. And then up top, there is a little handlebar, which is a nice little build. And if you turn this, it will turn the wheel, which is nice. So you can steer the motorcycle very easily. And then moving this around to the back, you can see there is a chain right here. And that actually moves as you move the wheel. And then there's this uh, little area in here. I don't really know what these pieces are called or what it's going to represent. Again, I don't know much about motorcycles. But as you spin the back wheel, those move up and down. There are two on each side. And I think that is a nice little detail. Looks pretty cool as it goes up and down as the motorcycle moves. And then this little back area is nothing too exciting, but I do think it looks pretty nice. And this is not meant for any type of figure, a uh, Lego minifigure or a Technic figure. This bike is just kind of its own scale uh, with the uh, large Technic vehicles. Uh, there are two large exhaust things on the back here, and then some trans red elements just to simulate uh, little brake lights. And then there is a, a spring in here, so you can have some suspension. So I'm just going to flip this up. So this motorcycle can move up and down a little bit, so it can go over some rough terrain. And the motorcycle is very smooth uh, as you are moving it around. And a little difficult to turn if you want the wheel to turn. Uh, so you kind of have to grab it like this. So you can actually grab the handlebars and steer the motorcycle as you are driving it around, which is pretty nice. I like the way that works. It's very simple. And it makes the motorcycle very easy to steer. And uh, I think that is pretty much it for the motorcycle. It is a very cool set. I was very surprised when I built it up. I didn't think I was really going to like it that much, but I was actually pleasantly surprised. I think it's actually a very well-built, well, well-built, sorry about that. I think this is a very well-built thing, and overall just a very nice set. So I thought I would give you guys a quick look at the instructions, since this is an older set. So on the front, you have the motorcycle. Uh, they do tell you that this is an instruction book, which I think is a little strange. Um, some of the set info up there, Technic logo, and then flipping this to the back. They do give instructions for an alternate build right there. I'm not going to build that one, but I do think that that is a very nice looking model. Uh, right here is the Lego Club ad, and then also the uh, win thing if you give feedback online. And then there's an ad for some other Technic sets. Some of these look absolutely insane, like this set right here on set number 8421. It looks like a crazy set. And then on the back is an ad for Lego Shop at Home, which had been around for a few years before this, I believe, but it was probably just uh, really getting popular at this time. So, that is the instruction book. Let's go ahead and close out the video. So that will do it for this review. Uh, overall, I do think that this is a pretty good set, even though I'm not a Technic fan. I, it was an interesting build. I didn't have any numbered bags building it, so it was a real pain, but it was an interesting seeing it come together. And I just think it is a very nice model, great for play, great for display. And I can't say that you have to rush out onto eBay and buy one right now, but if you are a Technic fan and you see a good deal on it, I would recommend picking it up since it is a pretty nice looking motorcycle. And that's really it for my thoughts. You guys can know what you think of this set by leaving a comment down below. And if you enjoyed this video, a like is very much appreciated. And if you want to see more LEGO reviews, you can do that by subscribing and turning on notifications, which you can do by clicking on the round end screen element popping up in the top left of your screen. 
And if you want to check out some of my other LEGO videos, the other three end screen elements popping up are just other LEGO videos that I think you will enjoy. So feel free to click around the end screens and take a look at some of my other videos. And that will do it for this review, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.